they just put it in the back for later. It didn't seem like it was something they were very proud of. Coming across a piece of history, tucked away and nearly forgotten until he got his hands on it. ABC 10 News reporter Nate Holm shows us how a teenager turned a wrecked boat into a museum's prized possession. This old, worn-down lifeguard boat may not seem like much to many, but for Eagle Scout Ethan Huntington, it was a chance to restore history. It's like a great way of bringing a piece of history back to life, something that was meant to be destroyed by the elements, and it was just sitting in the back of the museum for so many years. The 1950s lifeguard dory boat was donated to the San Diego Heritage Museum in 2012. Prior to that, the nearly 400-pound craft was tucked away in storage since the 1980s. Lifeguards used to haul it out into the ocean back and forth, back in the 1950s, to save lives. The museum agreed to let Huntington restore the boat as part of his Eagle Scout service project, but the teen says they had to overcome a few hurdles. Due to COVID-19, we had to continue practicing social distancing. I could only have three scouts working at a time, and everybody had to wear a mask. As for the boat, there were long cracks running down the sides of the boat. There was rust everywhere. There was rotting wood. Wood filler had to be placed inside of the large cracks. Ethan and his troop had to be cautious of the peeling paint. It's such an old boat. It's highly possible. It was toxic marine paint. I, hire, I used my own savings to hire a dustless blaster, which is sort of like a power washer, except it sucks up all of the paint. After nearly a week of hard work, the Encinitas lifeguard dory was restored to its original beauty. It will continue to sit in the museum for visitors to enjoy. Nate Holmes, ABC 10 News. So cool. Ethan says the museum is now considering a larger exhibit now that that boat is restored. Isn't that 